In this video, I probably did one of my fastest solo Polaris Rex Riches. We will go on one of the most popular server and go from just a naked to destroying full geared players in a very short time. Drop a like and subscribe to not miss any future videos and we are doing a mythical giveaway, which is a burning feathered hat. And if you want to win this, it is very simple. Make sure that you have liked, subscribed and most importantly, comment something below. Also, if you're a channel member, you have a higher chance of winning. Alright boys, we're in one of the most popular Polaris servers. It is literally just around like 10 a.m. and the server is already full of villains. This is insane. So I've not played here. I have absolutely no idea what time's loot it is, what is going on. So we're gonna give it a try. And we're gonna try to obviously build a base. I do have a little bit of goals today. Try to build a base. I'll try to raid the base. Obviously, doing dead zone is very important. Obviously, PvPing, trying to get myself high tier loot. Oh yeah, it is bait. Alright, it's five times loot. Alright, nope, no problem. There's a vault as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start getting myself some basics. Hopefully, I will not die until I get myself a weapon. Yep. There we go. We already got a walnut. All right. And I hear shots. Be sure that's over the town. There's a large tower right in front of us, too. We should go try to kill this dude that's shooting all the way over in the town. We should definitely give it a try. Make ourselves another magazine. Beautiful. Make ourselves a better stock. Make ourselves some metal, too. Let's make it into a sheet. We got basically a door already. Vest. Yeah, we already got everything that we need, to be completely honest. I do have a plan of where I want to build the base. I think we're gonna build it close to a unmarked ship and there's also a safe zone entrance. I'll try to do some quests today. Obviously the main quest line to doing the dead zone runs and th those kind of stuff. Very easy to progress from there. There's also another sheet. And I'm actually going to vault these because I don't want to lose them. Even the rope. Now let's reload, get ourselves a full magazine. And let's start heading over to the town. Hopefully he is still there. I really hope that he is. If not, I'll just go pass through and we'll go to the base location that I want to build some point I do want to do some haze runs as well since it's oh gunpowder perfect but yeah the server has large clans playing here all the time very geared players so I'm kind of scared that I'm just gonna get destroyed because there's no the server is not a really a walk in the park either yeah I don't really see anyone around here there go there's a few more guns yeah the boxes are looted so he was probably here a while ago I'm just gonna vote this extra gun get ourselves some more ammo and another stock Kill these zombies and just run through. Yep, we got ourselves another box. Beautiful. Kinda need an axe to actually... Oh, sniper. Somebody's sniping, obviously. And that's why these large towers around are gonna be just used for sniping. Alright, we're over the construction area. I'm gonna try to get as much tape as possible. If we get a generator, that would be even better as well. Got a gas can already. But basically, if you guys aren't aware, even though I'm pretty sure you all are, uh, generators are used for horde beacons, even gauss scans. You can turn a gauss scan into a generator and the generator into a horde beacon, which is a very OP tactic. And with horde beacons, you can get lotuses. They're, they're very easy to make. Yeah, this dude is still sniping somewhere around, man. I have no idea where, though. I really think he's somewhere on a tower or in a sky base, but I didn't really see any. But over here should be an X spawn, which... This is what I'm looking for so that I can start building a base. There's a backpack I'll actually take. Yep, there we go, we got an axe. Now it's time to start chopping. Before we continue the video, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor. Are you guys trying to start your own unturned servers, whether it's for survival, roleplay, or simply to create a private server for you and your friends? Look no further than Pine Hosting. Pine Hosting does make setting up your server very easy. They offer high-performance servers, and it's a very user-friendly interface. When I first started into hosting my network, I literally had no idea how to do anything, but after a few minutes, I did learn the navigation, and I also did learn the basics in a very short time. They have locations all over the world. The pricing is also very cheap and they also do have a variety of games including Rust, Ark and Minecraft. My favorite feature from Pine Hosting is that you can install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you already have a server with another provider, they will provide personalized assistance to help move your server as well. If you're ready to start your own unturned server, don't miss the link in the description below and be sure to use the code LDG for an incredible 30% discount and let's get straight into the video. Alright, so I'm gonna build my base somewhere around here. I think it's gonna be a uh, Pretty good location. There's a few bases around, so so we gotta be careful. Penumbra shots. Penumbra shots very close. This dude just killed two people. As soon as we're done here, I'll try to get the penumbra man. If we get a penumbra this early, that would be insane. But yeah, now it's base building time. All 
All right, boys, and we are basically done with the base. Got everything, got some storage, placed all of the placeables. We're gonna put everything we don't wanna lose inside these crates. And I'm gonna go hunt down that Panumbra dude. He's been shooting this whole time, and I think I know exactly where he is. I think he's by the construction area, which is quite close to us. So, yep, he, he, there we go. He's shooting again. I think he's killing a bunch of spawns. But let's go see if we can actually take him down. That would be huge if we do. It would be some very good loot. Bro, I can barely... Oh, he's right there. There we go. He's dead. Yeah, it is him. Yep, there we go. Easy penumbra. Bro, so much good loot. Yo, this is huge. Bunch of tape. We got a jackhammer, a lot of metal, too. There we go. Racks to riches. I don't know how I saw him, bro. It's so foggy outside. Yeah, I don't think this dude is gonna like that I killed him, actually. I'm pretty sure he's... He's gonna come back and, and try to find me. This could be terrible, to be honest. Because my base can be easily seen and it's very small. It's literally 1 and 2 C4 away from being completely annihilated. And if this guy's roaming with Penumbra, I th he probably has. But yeah, we got ourselves a locker. So it's our first locker, so we can start placing all of our goodies in it. I think I can make another one, yes sir. Got two lockers now, perfect. Probably just hang low for a little bit, just in case this dude decides to come back. I don't want him to see me coming out of my base. Or I'll just probably go the other way completely. Go around Haze. I think that's what I'll do, actually. But I should probably wait for the fog to go out. Because I could barely see when I was out there, man. Wait, what? Somebody is raiding, bro. Okay, well, I am going to try to... Countered that, obviously. It seemed very close. Let me put that biohazard throw. The thing is, my vault is full, man. So if I get anything good, I don't know where I'll put it. The thing is, it's foggy too. I don't know exactly where it was, man. Let me turn the laser off. I don't think they could see it, but just in case... Bro, I don't see where it was. I don't know where it was. Oh, there's a base right... There's a raided base right here. Could be this one. I gotta try to sneak all the way over there. Yeah, I think it's this one then. Yeah, there's... I think I see loot on the floor. Bro, we counter this. will be huge, man. Yeah, here, steps inside. Yeah, th this is the base. What? Where did he raid from? It's not from here. I probably raided from the roof. I think it's one dude as well. Which is perfect. But what kind of base is this, man? Yeah, we gotta jump on the roof. We gotta make sound then, probably. Yeah, there's a ladder in there. I don't know how I'm gonna do this without any sound. I don't know. Oh, there we go. We did it without sound. He's not gonna expect us then. Why? Well, he's not even in here, bro. He left. Yeah, he's gone. Bro, there's so much gunpowder there. Oh, they're all damaged though. No. No, oh, I'm not even getting them because they're all damaged. I have a blowtorch in vault. I don't think it'll work. Wait, let's take the blowtorch out. There's so much gunpowder. Yeah, it's not gonna work, man. Feels bad. What about the tape? Everything is damaged with that C4 that he put. We should be able to get the I some of them back, but not all of them. I think that's how it works. Yeah, we got one tape from that. The biohazard trolls were just getting a small amount of biohazard fibers. I'm gonna take them anyway, though. Yeah, they're not- they can't get fixed, man. If he didn't use C4, bro, that would be huge. Yeah, we got two gunpowder from that. From, like, eight gunpowder, we got two. He may actually try to come back then and try to pick up all of this. He probably ran out of space. But it's still easy loot for us, especially the gunpowder. There right, we go. We got another biohazard troll. We still need a bit more for our goss mask, though. Wait, I hear steps. Wait, he's coming back. Oh, yeah, he's up there. Bro, I could have actually hid behind that sandbag. Where did he go? I really hope he doesn't know about me. Yeah, he's placing something. He's coming up. He's dead. Oh, my God. Bro, full mercenary outfit. Detto. Some modded OP gun. Armor. Plates. Bro, this is huge. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get out of here now. Bro, there is no way I got this loot as well. Too bad he didn't have any C4 on him. Probably had them in vault. But I'm so happy with this, man. I'm really happy with this. Look at this loot that I just got, man. And a lot of metal, too. I can make probably the whole base metal now. Alright, so I think it's a good idea to start expanding base. We're gonna make an airlock finally. Found a bit of wood, so now we can actually protect our base a little bit more from door campers, you know? Especially now since we're getting ourselves some pretty good loot and making ourselves two very hard-geared enemies already. 
The dude that I just killed over that base trade actually has his own clan. They're a large group and I'm kind of scared if they figure out where I live. Especially since I killed one of them that was super geared. So I am scared. I'm gonna lay low for a little bit. Yeah, I hear shots against probably them trying to hunt me down. Yep, more shots, sniper shots as well now. We're getting ourselves a really good start, man. Eat ourselves a burrito really quickly. I'm actually gonna try to see and counter this PvP. Yeah, it's the same dude I killed. He's somewhere closer to Penumbra. And someone else just got sniped very close. There's a large tower base here too, so we gotta be careful of that. I hear steps. Dead. Oh, okay, bro. He's He has fully decked out Vector, man. A bunch of clothes. Night vision, finally. Bavlar. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Alright, I'm over here trying to kill the Haze boss. That's kind of I'm, why I'm here. Alright, let's just stay here. Uh, I'm actually gonna home because I have quite a ton of loot on me now. Look at all this loot, bro. A lot of clouds, though. But yeah, I'm gonna wait to, to go home. Oh, what? Okay. There was a dude in there for whatever reason, alright. Oh, man. I lost that Krizzy, bro. I would have loved that Krizzy. It's alright, though. We could try to go back. Try to kill him. Still shots going on next to our base. So let's take an eco. Has a scope. Problem is I don't really have a lot of... I have this drum, but... We have a box there. Let's take that. Right, let's refill and let's try to go back. I should probably drop all of this loot and put them in base. So that I have a clear vault. Don't really want to run around with all of this loot in my vault. So if we get something good, we can always just put that in vault instead, you know. And this loot is safe in our base. Hopefully it doesn't get raided. There we go, we just filled up a locker. When PvP comes down a little bit, I'll probably do some mining runs with the jackhammer. I hear shots kind of around here, actually. I'm gonna try to see if I could kill those dudes. Because I'm pretty sure the Haze guy is just gonna home after he gets all of that loot. Bro, there's a dude there and the horde of zombies under him. I could try to kill him from here. Oh my god, I missed. Oh, he's running... Oh, there we go. He's dead. Now, let's refill and let's go check out loot he had. Hopefully, he had better loot than the Vector guy. Because if he had better loot, then that would be great. If he doesn't, then I should have gone there in the first place. But it's whatever. Oh, there's so many zombies here, so... Yeah, Balkalava. Yeah, military outfit. Okay, well, a walnut, night vision, and a bunch of carrots. Oh, wait, there's a dude. He's dead. Okay. Uh, mercenary helmet. Switch clothes. He had, like, a... Pretty good SMG too. Well, you know what? Not too bad. We I mean, got ourselves a bunch of guns. Guns are always nice to have. Mercenary shirt as well. Uh, yeah. Could have been worse. Could have been worse loot. Yeah, we got mercenary pants too. Almost full mercenary except backpack and vest. Oh, shots very close, bro. Bro, this is actually an OP spot. Look at this. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna put these in vault. Except the pistols. I don't really need those. Okay, I got two tapped by a pistol. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, thankfully, I had all of the good loot in my vault, though. Oh, what the hell happened there? Yeah, now I think a lot more people are starting to join. So wherever I go, there's gonna be people. Yeah, I, I just shots already. And I haven't even got out of anywhere. I don't know what gun should take. Let's take this one. You're over by the town. Dude, I see two people. All right, I don't really have that much ammo. So I gotta be smart about this. I gotta kill the geared guy. Somebody just teleported right next to my ears. He's right over there. Right, he's dead. Let's kill the zombies. Bro, the zombies are gonna... Oh, this guy was kind of geared, actually. Oh, there's another dude back there. Yeah, let's take... We got a shotgun out of ammo now. Hit him. I don't think he has anything. He's running away and medding. I have no idea where he went. But he's right here. Hit him. Oh, he's running away and medding again. Bro, come back here. What? He doesn't even have a gun. He's just wasting meds at this point. Yeah, he ran away. That's alright, doesn't have anything, so I'll just run away, just save myself some more ammo. Switch clothes. Yeah, we got ourselves a shotgun from this, not bad. And a bunch of, like, civilian loot. If we salvage, we could get ourselves some metal and that kind of stuff. Get ourselves a crossbow, bro. Just put the metal in vault. Metal is always nice to have. There's a grill somewhere around. I could try to take that down. But with a shotgun, I don't really know if I can. I'm getting sniped now, so... Yeah, server is starting to become slightly intense now. There's a dude right here. Hit him. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, this was the grill dude. Oh, and I got sniped, of course. There was another dude anyway. I hear him walking around, man. 
then we hear shots as soon as we come back. Everyone's with snipers, bro. It's crazy. There's a dude right there. Clueless. He actually almost killed me, though. Yeah, he's dead. He's kind of geared, bro. Yeah, fully decked out walnut. Let's try backpack. Bunch of meds and mags. Gun oil, Moses. Bro, it's pretty good, man. Not bad. Yeah, got ourselves a full inventory, so we should probably home. I hear people walking above, bro. I'm gonna get out of here, though. I don't want to risk this loot. For probably... Yeah, they're TPing, so it's a group. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, bro. Let's vote these, just in case. And we are back in our lovely little base. Beautiful. Our lockers are starting to get full as well. So we have to expand soon, man. But I'm trying to get all of the loot to do a... Goss mask, and we could do some goss mask dead zone runs. That's my current goal. Shots. Sounded close. I'm gonna try to go kill him. Somewhere in this town, probably. I'm getting sniped at, bro, of course. The same dude, just he just sits on his roof all day, just snipes. Oh, he's there. There we go, he's dead. Oh, okay. Bro has a lot of guns as well. Two grills, a bunch of meds, cans as well. There we go. Lovely. Beautiful. Let's just hide inside here so we can get out of here. Bro, I can't do the jump. All right, get in, bro. Come on. Yeah, someone else died here by the looks of it. So I'm in save zone and I'm just trying to finish as much quests as possible. Claiming as much quests as possible. We already finished this one. Absolutely lovely. There's still 200 bucks in our ATM. So pretty nice, dude. We're starting off... Quite well, man. We're getting ourselves a very good uh, survival run today, actually. Considering we've died like two or three times, we've got a lot of kills. I'm gonna get our generator and a gas can. So next, I'm gonna go and kill an observer so that we can get cyan crystal and we can get ourselves some lotuses. And from there, easy dead zone runs. There we go. We got ourselves a working generator. We don't have any sentries or lights though, but. For now, I'm just happy we have one because apparently uh, the base is decay here and I did not know. So I've been running around the server for around two or three hours and my base was decaying the whole time and I didn't even realize. But thankfully we did before anything actually decayed. I hear shots, shotgun shots, ball. Very close. Yeah, he came here for an observer kill. Wait, observer's looking at some. Oh yeah, there's people. Bro, shout out the observer. He literally baited them out for me. Oh, he saw me. One dead. About dead. Nice. Let's kill the observer. Oh, let's reload. Come on, man. Go dead. Sign crystal obtained. Let's check out their loot now. Oh, steely, bro. Okay, he has a lot of clothes. All right, not bad, bro. Military backpack, grenade launcher. These guys are kind of geared. All right, let's get out of here. We got a dip. Oh, shots nearby, so let's put the good loot in vault. So many guns, bro. Backpack. Salvage the clothes. There we go. We got ourselves some more dressings. Bro, there's a guy up here, I'm thinking. Yeah, my guy just... What? You threw a grenade at me. It's kind of road. I don't think it's his base. I think... There we go. He's dead. He just got a run and gun, man. I don't know how he didn't kill me with a shotgun, to be honest, but... Yeah, we got all of his loot. Yeah, it's not his base. He was just hiding up here, I'm pretty sure. Let's use splints. We could use the bandage too, forget full meds. But yeah, we got ourselves a, another nice walnut. It's farming metal time. Alright boys, so we're at the fishing area in the safe zone and we're just gonna fish, man. I'm gonna try to get myself some loot from here. I'm hoping for a broken goss mask. Like, that's literally all I need. If we get that, easy dead zone runs. Oh, there we go. Broken goss mask.
All right, we're back in base, and now I'm pretty sure I can actually start doing some good old dead zone runs. I should have everything, so really happy with it. There's a dude right there. My guy's chopping trees. I really hope this is not his base, actually. Bro, he would be my neighbor. <laughs> he has a lot of logs, damn. Bro, he has stacks of logs. He has no gun, though, but I'll take it. Yeah, it could be his base, man. There's, like, chop trees all around. It's so close to my base. This could be a huge problem, to be honest. But we're going to the safe zone. There we go. Let's enter. Yeah, that's a lot of logs, bro. I can build so much with that. Yeah, dude, look at that. Look at all those logs. I didn't know on the server that you can stack logs. But yeah, I brought every single sign crystal, copper coil, everything that I've had. And we're going to uh, make them into lotuses right over here. That's the plan. I've been farming for a lot. It's been around like almost six hours since we've joined into the survey. So we did also just finish this quest. We got ourselves the black penumbra. Absolutely beautiful. Even though we already had the penumbra back in base. But now we have unlocked. The shop, which is what exactly what I wanted for. So let's go, Penumbra and the Lotus is making time. Now we need more time crystals. That's alright, we got four Lotuses, which is, you know, plenty. And with this, we're gonna make C4 and we're gonna go raid some bases. That's what I've been doing, wanting to do this whole time. Now, we're gonna do it. Roy's back there. Hit him three times. Oh, he's dead. Bro, he came back, so he definitely has a base nearby. Probably just has a lot more wood, so I'll take that. Yeah, he just... Oh, he has a gunpowder. Yo, I'll take that, bro. Thank you. Gladly. Uh, oh, wooden door. Claimed bed. Okay. Bro, somebody doesn't know that wooden doors can be opened by everyone. These crates are all full. Nah. There's nothing good, but... Well, I'll take some of the stuff, like the, the Scotson, bro. These are good. Metal... Poor guy, man. Guys, always please make a metal door, all right? Unless you want someone like me to just come through, take all of your stuff without doing anything. Poor guy doesn't know. Take the grill, take all the ammo. I mean, I'm gonna take it because probably somebody else will come and take it anyway. I would rather me having it. Let's take the shotgun on all the shells. All right, insane base raid. Right, so it looks like there's a metal base here. It's like um diamond type of base. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see... If it's actually raided or not. If it's unraided, we'll give it a we'll give it a raid. Yeah, here generator in there, so I don't think so. Yeah, we're gonna give this a raid then. I couldn't find anything, man. All I could find were like large towers. Which probably don't have anything. They're just there to snipe. Nah, let's give this a try. I don't really know how much it takes. We're gonna try with three C4. Hopefully it's enough. And it's not enough. Alright. Four C4. This is my final C4, so let's just hope that it, it's gonna be enough to at least go in. Yeah, we're through, and there are... There's a few lockers, alright. No beds, though, that's weird. Probably it broke from the uh, explosive. Alright, well, I have to make more lotuses, so I'm gonna go home and uh, make myself a horde beacon, and we're gonna, we're gonna get lotuses, and from there I'll just make myself a few more C4, and we will be back. We will finish this raid 100%. <coughs> My mega zombie is down. We got a kill. There's still a few more, I think. Just take him out. Now we should have enough for at least 2c4, which I think are going to... Yep. Damn, 4c4. Dude, 4 lotuses? I should have been doing core beacons this whole time. I didn't know it gives this much. Bro, that's crazy. A horde gives 4? Nah, that's too OP, man. Usually they give 1 or 2. <laughs> that's insane. Bro, that's crazy. Now we're back. We're going to do the boom boom. Let's hope it's enough, man. I really hope so. It should actually break all of them. I broke most. And, okay, well, a bunch of Bevlar. A bunch of med kits. What? All right. We can make ourselves a lot of um, backpacks. We can actually try to make it into PMC, to be honest. We can try to make PMC from this. PMC backpack. That would be huge. Uh, we still got to raid the other two. Still got another C4. So, yeah, we should have enough to finish this base raid. 
All right, let's go second C4. Please, anything else than clothes and bevlor, please. And well, something else, but would have rather took clothes there. Yeah, we got nothing that good, man. Wrench, basically a housing planner. All right, well, we're done from the raid. That's all I wanted to do was to finish a base raid. But yeah, this was a very good day of solo Polaris run. Honestly, I'm really happy with the progression that we did, especially early on when we got those kills and the counter raid. And then we still got a few kills here and there, but yeah, I'm really happy with the progression that we did. So I'm probably just gonna home take all of the good loot and I'm going to call it a day because I've been here for a pretty long time. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you guys want to see more like this in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made it till the end. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!